I can smell pineapple. Does that mean I'm about to have a stroke or something? Okay, I've done this once before, so hopefully uh, uh, I sort of know what I'm doing, so it shouldn't take long. trying to hack out the uh, the near side inner wing um, it's always the case isn't it uh, if there's been some sort of repair or bodge you know whether it was there before or whether I done it it's so much harder to remove a classic example is this one so obviously this has been patched and I need to remove this panel but of course all these welds are all over the spot welds that I need to cut out to remove um, however this bracing panel, it's a common thing with minis. It's got, a, I don't know if you can be able to see this, but look, it's got a bit of a bold going on. And that normally means that there's some sort of corrosion going on underneath. Not great, um, but I'm thinking I, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna drill out these spot welds, take that off completely. This means that I won't have to find those spot welds down there, because hopefully that'll all come off in one big chunk. It may not work like that, but that's what I'm going to give it a go. Uh, yeah, so same old story. Undoing someone else's uh, repairs is always harder than uh, an unwelded shell. Oh well, it's part of the game. Ta da Look at that. That was worth taking that off, wasn't it? Anyway, lunchtime project. I've got pretty much all the steel off, the inner wing off. Uh, all I've got to do now is make a few little repairs, clean it all up, give it some, you know, rust inhibitor type stuff, uh, prime it all up. And hopefully, whack the new inner sill on. But I can't imagine that's going to happen. Well, I don't know. Maybe before IMM. We'll see. The classic mini that we're building is for national stage rallying. And because of this, there are specific safety requirements that it has to meet. It's a requirement that we have a plumbed in fire extinguisher of a minimum of 2.25 litres. We also need a handheld fire extinguisher 
with a minimum capacity of 1.75 litres. Let me show you how this all works. The plumbed in fire extinguisher is normally placed inside the car and I plan to mount this either behind the driver or the navigator seat. Uh, these fire cells can be made of steel, aluminium or even carbon fiber uh, and as you can imagine this can affect the price. The handheld fire extinguisher is for the navigator and the driver to use and will be mounted in front of the navigator's seat for easy access. The large plumbed in fire extinguisher must have two points of triggering, one within reach of the driver and the co-driver when they're belted into their seats and one outside the car for activation by a marshal. The trigger point outside the car must be clearly marked with a red letter E within a white circle. The Motorsport UK's preferred method of triggering is electrical, however the more traditional cable operated system is much cheaper. To prevent the fire extinguishers from being activated accidentally, they can be fitted, in the case of a mechanical system, with an R-clip. However, before entering stage arrival, the pin must be removed so that the system is armed. In the unfortunate situation where the plumbed in fire extinguisher needs to be triggered, the foam will pass down tubes mounted within the car towards the nozzles. Two nozzles will be aimed at the driver's footwell and two nozzles will be aimed at the navigator's footwell. At the same time, an equal amount of foam will be deployed via four nozzles into the engine bay. The direction of these nozzles should be towards the most likely areas to cause a fire, such as carburetors, ignition, fuel pumps, or exhaust. The price for all this varies depending on the specifications, but an entry level system could be purchased for under £350. Now here's an opportunity for you to sponsor this build. If you're a company or an individual, we would welcome your support no matter how small through our GoFundMe page. In return for your generosity, I plan to make the interior panel adjacent to the plumbed in fire extinguisher into a sponsor's banner. Each company or even a YouTube channel or individual that supports this project will have their name emblazoned in this for all to see. For information on our GoFundMe page, uh, please see the information below. Uh, right then, next job, <coughs> I guess. Cut that out. I know it sounds stupid, but it's on a spit, isn't it? And it's bolted through here. I might just put uh, a jack or a block or axle stand or something underneath here, just to take the weight off just a little bit. Uh, actually, I might put it in the middle. Just in case. There we go. I need not have panicked really. Uh, it's obviously well, uh, you know, constructed in there. 
Uh, so these tubes, uh, because this is a Mark II, uh, it has a twin bolt front subframe, so there's two little thin bolts that go down. Uh, the big one is mainly for the hydroelastic pipe to go into the suspension that goes down here. So yeah, this all looks very good. There's no issues here whatsoever. So uh, I think I can clean this all up. I shall replate it with, I'll measure this, see how thick it is. But I should probably do it in two mil plate across there. Uh, I shall prep all this to make sure that it doesn't corrode again. Because it's very unlikely I'll be in there anytime soon. And that should look all right when it's finished. Okay, this is slightly interesting. Uh, so I've been fettling this inner wing, uh, you know, sort of changing some of the profiles and the flanges and all that sort of stuff to try and get it fit. Uh, my biggest issue is I just want it to line up with the other wing so that when the bonnet's on, it's not like, you know, it's not wonky or anything like that. Um, so I was checking the heights. Uh, so I've put a, a little spirit level in there across the, like that. Make sure that's zeroed. Um, you know, I've, I've adjusted the the wooden jig to make sure it's flat. And what I was doing is I was putting a spirit level across the top of the wing, inner wings, to make sure they were level. Uh, and they weren't. They were well out. And then I then I had a, a moment, a eureka moment, and I realised what I was doing. I was putting spirit level on this this flange. Look, on this flange. But if you look at the flange, it's obviously where it's cut. So here we go, look, are we gonna focus on this for me? Look, there's the flange, there's the flange. And then all of a sudden, whoa, it goes up. So obviously this is just rough cut, isn't it? You know, it's not gonna be spot on, but hopefully this bit, the actual fold itself is right. So what I did, I put some of these little magnetic triangles on, one on each end, stuck the spirit level on, and now she's spot on. Ooh, look, I've just cut myself on the side of the front of the panel. Don't get too excited. 
just making sure everything's straight. Well, thank you very much for watching this little video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, maybe even consider subscribing. If you click that little notification bell in the corner, that will give you basically notifications when uh, a new video pops up. And again, just a quick reminder, if you would like to help sponsor this rally build, uh, please be kind enough to have a look at our GoFundMe page. So until next time, ta-ta for now.